Hi, my name is Julieta May. I'm an author. In case you couldn't tell from the title, I wanted to talk about something a little more serious today. Not just like books and writing like I usually do. For most of my life, really, I think I've kind of struggled with anxiety. I didn't quite know what it was as a kid. I would have a lot of stomach aches. I would worry about things. I was never keen on being sociable. It was really hard going to school. I would worry about like getting in trouble with the teachers or forgetting homework. I hated going in front of people and talking, doing presentations. I hated that. I hated gym class as well. You might know that already if you watch my other videos. Also, quickly, I want to say that this is not going to be like a quick fix video. I know if I were looking for videos on anxiety, I wouldn't just want to listen to someone talk maybe. So if that's you, you don't want to just listen to someone talk about their anxiety, you probably want to leave, look for another video because I can't tell you a quick fix to be honest. For the past several months, it's been worse than usual to the point where it's been really hard to leave my house at all. If I try to leave my house, I just get a panicky feeling inside. I feel like crying all the time when I have anxiety or when I know that I'm going to be faced with a situation that could give me anxiety. I'm not doing the things that normally I would love to do. like genuinely love to do. I wanted to talk about this because I was supposed to go to the recording studio with my mom. They were having a party. Normally I would really love to have gone. There was no question. Before I would have absolutely been there like no matter what I would have gone to that party. I would have had an amazing time. Part of me wanted to go like really bad but another part of me was like I don't even want to try to go because I don't think I'm gonna feel good while I'm there. It just like ruins everything. It usually was not like that before. The past couple months have just been really hard. I wanted to make this video to like sort of explain if you don't have anxiety so you can try to empathize with people who do have anxiety because I know that it's not easy to try to understand somebody if you don't know what they're going through personally. It's not always easy for people who are in those situations that you don't understand to talk about it. Maybe if you have anxiety, maybe it'll help you to know that somebody else is going through it and somebody else understands. If you want to, you can message me on YouTube or wherever you want to and talk about it if you want. Like I said, these are places that I would actually usually want to go to and things that I would actually usually want to do and I just feel like I can't do it. Not that I wouldn't physically make it back okay, but like I would not feel good being there. I would want to cry, like there's no literal reason for it. I would just want to cry and that would be like all I can think about. And it's just a really bad feeling inside that's kind of hard to explain. There's not something that you can do about it really and there's not something that somebody can really say to you to make it better It's just like this irrational thing. It's really frustrating If you're frustrated with someone who has anxiety You should know that they're probably like a hundred times more frustrated with themselves because I get really frustrated with myself a lot of the time on Sunday I was just thinking I just felt like such a failure and I, I I do feel like such a failure at life because I don't go out and I don't do things and um, I feel like I should be driving a car and hanging out with people and having a relationship, all these things that it's so normal for everyone else to do. I can't even think about that. Like I've said, I've not really been leaving my house much, but when I used to, if I would socialize with people, I would tend to stutter. You know, even when I like talk to my mom, I tend to not get the words out correctly. Like if I want to say something really simple, I'll switch up my meaning somehow. I stutter even more because I don't know where to go with it from that point once I've messed it up and then I mess it up even more. Even if I do think of something to say to somebody, I don't always bring myself to actually say it. But a lot of the time, I don't know what to say to people. That's hard 
because I just like sitting there silently agreeing with them or silently sitting in awkwardness. It's not a good feeling. Lately when I've been thinking about going out, I guess, it's like I don't want to get stuck there. I think about how long it's going to take to get there, how long it's going to take to actually be there, how long it's going to take to drive back. That is overwhelming to me even if it would be like 10 minutes to drive there and 10 minutes to be there and 10 minutes to come back I'm like that's a half an hour that's a half an hour that I'm going to be out of comfort like this is comfort to me right here it's a scary thought to me it's not something rational obviously it's not something that I can rationalize because I know that the world is not necessarily as dangerous a place as I make it out to be but it's the way it feels to me does that make sense I feel like a failure for a person a lot and I feel like a failure as a Christian because I am a Christian. I have a relationship with God. People say you should pray about it when you have anxiety. When I have anxiety, I can hardly think about anything but crying. So that makes me feel like a bad Christian. Not that people would ever say that. Not anyone I know anyway. It just makes me feel bad. I've found that when I do have to go out somewhere or when people forcibly drag me out somewhere <laughs> i take long headphones and i listen to 21 pilots that helps me i like to focus on the music i'll just put one headphone in if i'm like in company i'm always in company i don't know what i'm talking about but if i'm in a position where i have to be listening to people i put one headphone in and try to pay some attention to my surroundings and try to focus on the music at the same time. 21 Pilots has just been the greatest thing that's happened to me in a long time. I love Tyler's lyrics and their music itself, but I'm a lyric person, so I tend to focus on the lyrics and I just love their lyrics. Like, you need to listen to their songs as many times as it takes for you to get the meaning of their stuff because it's just mind-blowing that what Tyler writes is I aspire to be like Tyler to be honest with you like I'm just I'm in love with his lyrics and with him a little bit too but he's married so that's not a lot. I've also started going to counseling I guess you'd call it. I meet with this woman we talk a little bit and then she actually prays with me probably as much as we talk if not more. That's always really good. I love getting together with her. I love praying with her and I just feel so much better after I leave. I really believe that's helping me. I'm not saying my anxiety is completely gone, but I feel like every time I go to her, it gets better. She tells me like these things that she can tell that I am, but that I maybe necessarily can't see for myself. That's a really good feeling as well. It's just having someone to talk to and having someone to voice their opinion and show their side that you didn't see before, or maybe you had a hard time accepting. They can try to help you accept it. And I personally believe the prayer is a thousand times more important than talking to somebody else like having someone pray with you it's just a really great experience i love going to her physically they did tell me that there's this thing that you should do which has helped me i do like to do that as well you breathe in to the count of four hold it for the count of seven and then you let it out for the count of eight. I find this a really difficult thing to do, and maybe that's kind of the point, the concentration of it. Four, seven, eight. <laughs> so remember that if you can, if you feel like anxiety is coming on, you should try that breathing thing. It's supposed to reset your brain, I believe they said. I like to carry essential oil around with me. Lavender is good for anxiety. There's this one that I used to smell growing up as a kid. I have memories of my grandmother would give me this bottle of, it's called Peace and Calming. You put the drops in your hand and then you rub them behind your ears and on your neck. It helps you calm down, you breathe it in, it's really good for you. You can do that with Peace and Calming, it's really expensive, but you could also find lavender, which is much less expensive. Lemon, I heard, works as well. Lemon essential oil. I haven't tried lemon, but I do like to breathe in lavender. Like I said, I miss peace and calming. But really, I think any essential oil would be good if you want to try breathing in essential oil while you think you're going to have a panic attack or you think you're going to be anxious or whatever. It's 
so that's my video i hope you liked it i hope you got something out of it i hope if you're struggling with anxiety that you can find a way to overcome it i hope that if you know someone with anxiety this helps you to understand them better i also hope you have a wonderful day whether you have anxiety or not thank you so much for watching my videos i genuinely appreciate it i'll see you soon love you bye hi my name is juliana may i'm an author i apologize for the noise we are getting ready to leave myrtle beach right now everybody's rushing around and getting ready to leave today audi and i are What's up? and i'm an author are you serious are you serious my baby bird I, mm, and that's lately when I've been trying to go <sighs> probably gonna have to cut out a lot of you know what I mean because I just keep saying that but that's my way of speaking so I apologize you know what I mean <sighs> I said it again what else what is the other thing what's the other thing there was another thing breathing music I don't know, what's the other thing? What's the third thing? I don't know. I feel like there was a third thing. I'm pretty sure there was a third thing, but I can't think of it. That's a real issue. Breathing, praying, listening to music. Oh, I, I don't know. It's... Also, just try to remember that you are more than your anxiety, okay? You are still the person you were before you had your anxiety and you can still be that person again and better if you do it with god that would be even better for you uh, anyway thank you again for watching love you bye